let's talk about the three times we've used p-values for test one. So what we have right here is we need to think about the three times we've used it. The first time we did it was to test to see if something is normal. So when we tested to see if something is normal, we would start out by believing it is normal. Now, I want you to think in your head, if something is normal, what do you expect it to look like? Just think, if it is normal, and you'll get this when we do it for the next ones, we expect it to look what? If it is normal, I would expect it to look normal. So if it is normal, we would expect it to look normal. Now, the next thing we did is we did when there's correlation. Now, what we assume for this one is that there's no correlation. So when we assume there's no correlation, what do you expect to see if there's no correlation? What would you expect to see, so remember our trick for the last one, if there's no correlation, what would you expect to see if there's no correlation? Correlation requires a scatter plot, so what would you expect to see if there's no correlation? Remember, well be careful, first time, if it's normal, we expect to see a normal curve. If there's no correlation, I would expect to see scattered dots, I see it in the chat, and also scattered dots mean there's no correlation. This means that the correlation is probably pretty close to zero. That's what I expect to see. Now, what would we expect to see if there's no slope? If there's no slope, what would I expect to see? This is the null we're starting out with, the null being that there's no slope. This is what I'm starting out believing. If there's no slope, what do I expect to see when I draw it? A straight line, perfect answer right there. I expect to see a straight line, so let's add some dots in. Just like the last one, there's gonna be nothing going on right here. So now we're gonna add in a flat line which has no slope, and that's what I expect to see if there's no slope. That's the likely thing to see. So what would we not expect to see? If there was a normal curve for our data, what would we not expect to see? If the normal curve is what our data is, and then we do our data, what would we not expect to see? I expect it, go back to the top, I expect it to look normal, what would I not expect it to look like? I expect it to look normal, what would I not expect it to look like? Any ideas? Think for a moment, think, if it's normal, it should look normal. Skewed, not normal. So this drawing right here is something we would not expect. So this right here, there's many drawings we could do. We could put an extreme outlier, an even more extreme outlier off there. It was actually off the screen. So we have right here what's something we would not expect. This is a non-normal curve. Now anything not normal is not normal. So this is what we would not expect on the far side of the screen up there. If there's no correlation, what would you not expect to see? And this doesn't mean bad. It just means if there's no correlation, I expect to see no correlation. If there, what would I not expect to see? If there's no correlation, I would not expect to see a what? If there's no correlation, I would not expect to see what? I would not expect to see correlation. You are right. I would not expect to see correlation. Look at that right there. We've got a really strong correlation right there. You can kind of tell the correlation by doing your density ellipse, and it looks like a one, which means it's closer to one. The first one to the left of it looks like a zero, so it's weaker. So this is a stronger, tighter correlation that looks unlikely, we'll be talking about that in a moment, by random chance. Now just do the same right here. If there's no slope to the line, what would you not expect to see? The first one was what we expected, and there's no slope. But for the next one, we're going to say, well, if there's no slope, well, I wouldn't expect there to be a what? If there's no slope to the line, I would not expect there to be a what? If there is no slope to the line, we'll have to re-space pen over it. Space pen is taken over. If there's no slope, I would not expect to see what? I would not expect to see a slope. Exactly. And look at that slope over there. It's like, huh, that doesn't look likely. I thought there was no slope. So what do you do on the far right? You reject your null each time. And all of these ones over here are the nulls for the test. We didn't write them in statistical notation. We kind of wrote them so someone could just generally understand them. So what goes with these graphics? Well, all of these right here, and let's make it very clear, these right here are all going to have low p-values. I'm going to start with the other ones. Low p-values. So low p values. And these all have high, too high, high p values. 
And think about what a high p-value is. We're saying if the null is true, it's likely that we'd see a normal curve like this. If the null is true, it's likely that we'd see no correlation like this. If the null is true, it's likely that we'd see no slope, because the null says there's no slope, so that's likely to see. Kahoot is at five, come in and check it out, stay around. And we got a really awesome video at the end of class. It'll be, I mean, not a video, something's gonna happen. Something's gonna happen at the end of class. Check it out, stay to the end, lots of fun, something crazy might happen, who knows. So let's go here to low p-value. This was what, if it's normal, then this is unlikely. Right here, if it's, no, if it's no correlation, then correlation is unlikely. If there's no slope, then seeing a strong slope is unlikely. And we did lots of review in this class. This is kind of a quick speed run review of these concepts of how we handle the null and alternative at the start, just to kind of understand what's going on here with what we assume and what is likely or unlikely. And once again, I wanna reiterate, I shouldn't have stopped that speed run, that speed run timer, I'm cheating right here that when we talk about a low p-value, what do we mean by a low p-value? It's very important we know that all low p-values are p-values less than 0.05. A low p-value is a p-value less than 0.05. So that is very important right here to understand what is going on. Oh no, no buffering on the, on the laptop. So fail to reject the null on the left, and reject on the right, correct. Um, and the left ones would have higher p-values, telling you that that is likely. Simon, excellent work. You would say, I fail to reject the null because that looks normal. So think, if you fail to reject the null, you would continue to believe that this is normal. If you fail to reject the null, you would continue to believe that there's no correlation. If you fail to reject the null, you would continue to believe there's no slope. And then we go over here to this right here. If you reject the null, you're saying I have evidence that it's not normal. If you reject the null here, you're saying I have evidence there's correlation. If you reject the null, you're saying I have evidence there is a slope. You're here to learn stats. That's what we do here.